Hello guys, welcome to 3D Home and in today's tutorial I will show you guys how to model this TV console you're seeing, okay? First of all, this is what I did the other time and someone asked the question if we can model this same design but using slant or diagonal strip, okay? So I decided to make a video on that using the diagonal strip, okay? So let's proceed without wasting much of the time. Let me show you guys the step on how I was able to achieve this, okay? So first of all, if you've not watched the video, the tutorial on how we're able to do this one, okay, I'll be dropping the video, I'll be dropping the link here, okay, I'll be dropping the video on the, on, on the comment section, okay, so you can click there and watch on how we're able to get to this point, okay. So now I'll be removing these ones, these um, vertical ones, okay, I'll be removing these vertical ones, so we do that by deleting these ones, okay. If you're wondering how we got here, please do well to watch that particular tutorial. The video is there and I'll still drop the link so you can easily identify the video, okay? So let me remove these ones, okay? It's actually single strips, okay? They are not good together. That's why you see me deleting them one after the other. Sorry for your time, okay? all right so let me show you something very very important okay please pay close attention all right i'll be hitting you with something very very special on how to do this all right so let's proceed now what we use on doing this um or modeling the street strips we use slab okay we use slab tool on doing that but this time around we're using wall to to do the same thing okay this thing you're seeing here this white one is wall and then we give it thickness of 300 then now the strip for this um slant strip uh, we want the thickness to be 50 okay so that means the wall thickness will be using since i say we're using wall tool for this that means the wall thickness will be using 50 okay so let's dive in let's dive in without wasting time all right now click on um click on wall once you click on wall click on that setting dialogs okay first of all change the thickness to 50 all right this is 50 make sure it's 50 and then for your material you can choose any material i actually use earth brown for this one i use earth brown so you can use anything you can use any material of your choice okay i just want it to look a bit brown so now let me use this um floorboard so that let's see a bit difference now click ok and then we are drawing that particular wall here okay we're drawing the wall here to this point now you can see the wall okay this one is floor it's a bit different this material is not okay actually because we don't want to be seeing breakage all right so let's just use this head brown i think it's fine okay i think it's fine now how do we get the slant strips okay something very very special the same material we use in constructing these boxes you're seeing which is this open tool is the same tool we'll be using sorry if my you know video is covering this part but what we'll be using is this rectangular niche okay this rectangular niche so double click on that one okay so now you can see that the box is showing here okay so click double click on this wall you're seeing and then press escape you can see we have that opening now but it's square okay it's square sorry let me quickly off this ac because of noise All right, so you can see that this one is is square. So and um, we don't want square. What we need is actually um, a slant something. Okay, slant one. So click here. Click on the box. You see this blue line. Click on that the down one. Okay, we want to drag this plane. We want to drag it down and then select this offset edge and then drag this point down. What we are trying to achieve now is the length of that particular um strip okay just look carefully you understand every bit of it okay so now I click on this inside one the blue line and drag it to this other side we want the width to be 50 okay so the width is 50 and um okay so now click on the same one all right click on the same one and then select any of the nodes 
is showing you is giving you option to rotate okay you can see free rotate here so click on free rotate and then make sure it's on the face like this now we are going to rotate this part and make sure it's on 45 angle 45 okay you can see angle 45 so this is angle 45 now ignore this point um, but before then sorry there's something very important still click here click on the line on on this particular um niche all right still select offset edge drag this one to this side and then drag this other this other side which is the top okay drag this top to to this other side make sure it's outside like this okay you can see the cut now you can see the cut after you've achieved this one the next thing to do is click on your south elevation want to see the front so this is the front this is south elevation so it depends on where your model is. if it's if your yours is facing um is facing east or west make sure you click on that view so now click on this okay once you click on this click on one of the edge all right and select duplicate or uh, multiply all right select multiply once you click on multiply don't click anything just click ok and then click on that particular um, niche again now any distance by if if i drag it to this point before i click before i left click this is this is the spacing i'm going to maintain while moving my cursor to the right okay but i'll just move it to i want it to be um let's say yeah 160 this one is okay you can still use eye gauge all right so once i click here once and i keep um keep moving my um, cursor to the right hand side it will automatically duplicate itself or multiply itself into many many um niche okay so once i click here now you can see that i have this cut now okay so it's running this other side i'll still do the same thing by clicking on this one then once i click on this one once the next thing to do is click on it again second time let me do that again the first one is like this so first thing to do is click and make sure it's highlighted second thing is click on it again by the that is click on that blue line to show these options then select multiply once you select multiply don't click anything just click ok and then still click on that same point again on that same line again and then make sure your your line is on horizontal you can see x is showing make sure it's on x okay so and then give it a space of your choice before you click i think this one is okay then click and then keep moving it to the left it to be coming out until you make sure that this part is covered also okay and then you click outside so now once you click our 3d now you can see we have the same thing this side well trimmed okay well trimmed so the same thing we have here is the same thing we have here very very simple okay very very simple happy new year to some of you that i'm seeing now um sorry not see to some of you that i'm showing this method now happy new year to you guys and thank you for your time thank you for your patience and for the person that requested for this video my apologies for not dropping it on time okay on time on time i actually you know out of my system it's one or two reasons but we are back now by the grace of god so thank you once again for your time thank you for you know you know choosing us yeah thank you for choosing us <laughs> see you on our next tutorial Oh, sorry don't forget to comment right don't forget to comment if you have any question drop it on the comment section and i'll attend to you thank you once again